Welcome to Courageous Doctors, the TV news show for you and your doctor. On today's show, we'll cover Obamacare updates, other health care information, and health and safety tips. Now let's begin. In the New York Times, we have a report that the Center for Medicare, CMS, Medicare Services projects an increase of 20% in premiums for 2015. However, Bloomberg News says that the cheaper plans may only go up by 3%. The New York Times has done an audit revealing that one half of all denials on the Medicare claims were not given a reason. USA Today says that the National Association of Insurance Commissioners will set standards for all the network plans to have the same number of doctors and hospitals provided in those plans. USA Today says that the president will close a loophole which now allows large employers to cut out hospital coverage. That's not good. The Star-Ledger says there's been a sharp increase in the cost of generic medicine that is up from $14.21 on the average to $41.88. The consumer bears the burden of paying this increase if not covered on their plans. And finally, Star Ledger says that Governor Christie has canceled the Hewlett Packer computer program called CASS that would cost $118 million, but would handle the backlog of applications in Medicaid and the SNAP food supplemental program and other welfare programs. Hi, I'm Ingrid Burke. And I'm Gina Unger. Gina has known Dr. Barry in a professional and personal capacity for many years, and we are thrilled to be in his building. We are psychotherapists, and we offer mental health counseling for ages 12 and up. We do individual, couples, and family counseling. We're also excited to say that we have groups that we have for teenage boys and girls for social skills, anger management, and self-esteem building. If you need to reach us, check us out at lifeworksnj.com. Our phone numbers are also listed on that website if you'd like to contact us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marla Gruber, holistic health coach, smile expert, founder of the WIND program for children, a yogi trainee, and a mom to two teenage children. I'm excited to introduce into Dr. Barry's office my services of increasing your child's positive energy. My goal is to get the body comfortable so it can function at its full potential, enabling them to smile from the inside out daily. I will help both you and your child understand that being healthy is not just an absence of disease, it's having vitality. I believe that life is a journey, not a destination. I will help you enjoy the process of guiding your child to living a better quality of life and being the best that they can be. I look forward to helping you. Thank you for listening and keep smiling. Let's move on to other health care updates. Star Ledger reports that more than 2,600 people that returned from West Africa have now completed their 21 days of monitoring for the Ebola virus. Monitoring will continue with mandatory quarantine for all health care workers returning from West Africa. New Jersey has designated three hospitals to handle patients with Ebola. Hackensack Hospital, Robert Wood Johnson Hospital, and University Hospital. CDC teams will fly in to assist in the proper use of protective gear, and police and first responders now carry that gear. USA Today says that a United States doctor returning from West Africa that was infected with Ebola has died in a Nebraska hospital. USA Today says that outside labs are still refusing to do blood tests from Ebola patients. Star Ledger says that the enteroviral 68 epidemic that claimed the life of one child in New Jersey earlier this year and hospitalized hundreds of others is now slowing. Besides respiratory problems, this virus could be related to the one which caused polio-like paralysis in patients uh, across the country. Time reports that 1.5 million a year die of TB in 2013 out of the 9 million 
new cases reported that year. Wall Street Journal says that the flu shot production this year was delayed due to production problems. In fact, the CDC has announced that the strain uh, in this year's vaccine, there's four strains, but one of the strains, the, H3 in, the H3N2 strain, is the wrong strain and may only cover about 40% of that particular type of flu, which is a very severe flu. So they're urging that you seek medical help to get early treatment with one of the anti-flu medicines. The USA Today says that the vaccine that was used to treat the college outbreaks of meningitis last year has now been approved. All right, let's move on to talk about health and safety tips. Reuters reports that Homeland Security is investigating infusion pumps and implantable heart devices prone to computer hacking. The Wall Street Journal says that the FDA will not allow one particular company in India that was going to manufacture generic Nexium and antacid. They have now taken away permission from that company due to production and safety factors. USA Today says that tainted supplements are still found in drugs that have been recalled, such as drugs which mimic Viagra and Meridia. NPR says that batteries are now coated with a shield to prevent them from conducting electricity if swallowed. ABC World News says that 5 million baby strollers made by the Graco company are being recalled as some led to injury, including fingertip amputations. Boy. Bloomberg News says that high caffeine energy drinks have caused seizures in young children. Be careful there. Star Ledger says that an ambulance for stroke victims has a portable CAT scan that, uh, that can detect uh, brain clots and also has the blood thinner TPA, which can be administered right on the scene. Finally, we have an interesting article in the Star Ledger about cranberries. As you know, cranberry production is the third in New Jersey in the Pinelands, is the third largest in the country. And uh, besides treating urine infections, uh, we're told in the 1700s it actually prevented scurvy in sailors in colonial times. Uh, the article goes on to say that the acid soil of the Pinelands makes it suitable for growth. And a few other interesting facts. The name cranberry actually comes from the flowers that look like cranes. And uh, when cranberries are ripe, they bounce, which is interesting. And one particular variety, Scarlet Knight, was appropriately invented in Rutgers. And that's our news program for today. Thank you for watching. As always, we look forward to your comments, and we'll see you again next month. It's the Mark Daisy Show, filled with gifts, fun, and surprises, and $20,000 in cash for every viewer. Well, maybe not. But we, we do talk about stuff and things that you might want to think about after, before, and during the show. It's engaging, uh, at least. So uh, come by, won't you? We're here at Facebook, on iTunes. Uh, we broadcast uh, from VK Media right here on the East Coast, and we're part of broadbandboxoffice.com. Check us out, come by, like us, do what you can, spend some time, take some time off, sit down, have a viewing. It's happening, it's now, it's controversial. Or maybe not. But uh, we, could, uh, we could use a couple of more viewers. Maybe starting with you. Won't you? Hi, I'm Randy Lupo, host of The Randy Lupo Show on Broadband Box Office. 
Wait, is that a tongue twister or an alliteration? Come meet my favorite people, comedians, actors, writers, spiritual people, and everyone in between. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Lisa Descoli. And I'm Annie Weiss. Tune in to Talk of the Town on broadbandboxoffice.com. The second Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. And like us on Facebook and leave us your comments. Hi, my name is Tom Ragu of the Tom Ragu Sit-Down Comedy Show. You can listen to us at the Broadband Box Office. And for more information, please visit www.tomragu.com slash podcast. I'm Lou Cicinia. And I am Daisy. And check us out at the Greater Jersey Buzz. At broadbandboxoffice.com. Broadbandboxoffice.com. Remember that. The finest talent in the world are on these microphones every month. I kid you not. Yes, we will have a variety of different guests ranging from comedians, entertainers, singers, politicians, you name it, we're going to bring it to you with light conversation, a lot of information, but most of all, a lot of fun. Check us out at the Greater Jersey Buzz. And you'll see Daisy, too. And you'll see Lou. (laughs) 